things are going to continue to get worse before they get better. It will probably be coming down that epidemic curve at some point late January into February. So which is it? Fox 61 turned to Connecticut's COVID data tracker to examine trend lines. This chart shows the number of COVID cases. Take a look at the downward trend and precipitous drop over the last week. Hospitalizations on a gradual downward slope as well. Deaths seem to show the same thing. We have reached the peak and we're flattening the curve. Uh, and in some instances, we're, we're bending the curve downward. But there's a big caveat, an X factor, if you will. Even if we do all the usual things, it will get worse again and more people will die again. And it might even get worse than the worst it's been. COVID variants and strains. You know, the White House has uh, told uh, folks that they expect the UK variant, for example, to actually be the dominant variant in the United States by March. And that's more infectious. Will we see a third wave? That very much depends on how fast we can get shots into arms. Remember, a virus needs you to be able to mutate. More people vaccinated means fewer hosts. Fewer hosts means less mutation and eventually herd immunity. Pandemic over. We're in a bit of a race right now. There are dozens of coronavirus mutations, but only three that scientists are really worried about from the UK, South Africa and Brazil. They contain mutation in the spike protein, which is the protein that the vaccines are based on. We don't think that the vaccine is going to be quite as good against the South African variant, but it might be close. Coming up in the news at five, I'll explain why tracking these new variants is so important and give you a peek behind the curtain at what surveillance the state is doing to search for these new variants here in Connecticut. Reporting in East Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.